Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to make an iced coffee with the Ninja 10 Cup Specialty Coffee Maker, model number CM401. It's got an over ice button, and I'm going to show you how to make a really good tasting French vanilla over iced coffee. Okay, so now let's brew an over ice. So when we do over ice, Again, it's going to brew, so I always say it brews half the quantity of coffee. So you're not supposed to brew into a glass cup. So if you want to do like a cup or a, a travel mug, do it into a plastic one or, or even a metal one, but don't do a, a glass cup. They say this glass is okay to use because it's tempered for it. So I'm going to do a half a carafe of iced coffee. So whatever quantity you're going to put, fill it up that much with ice. So if I was gonna do a full pot of over ice, I would fill this entire thing up with ice because what's it's not gonna brew a full pot of coffee. When you do a full pot, it only brews half a pot. So it's gonna brew, you'll have a bunch of ice in here, but the ice will melt. It'll make room for that coffee. I'm gonna do a half a pot, which seems to be about the right amount for just like, like two people. So fill whatever, so whatever quantity you're going to brew, fill that up with ice. So I've got half a pot full of ice. It's going to brew a, like a quarter of a pot into this half a pot. So you'll end up with a half a pot of over ice iced coffee. But even though we're it's only going to brew a like it's only going to brew a quarter of a pot, still use the same amount of coffee as if you were doing a half a pot. So whatever you've got this selected on, still use that amount of coffee. So I'm doing a half a pot, half a pot. So I'm gonna do three to four. I'll do four of these big scoops, which is eight tablespoons. Okay, you're gonna close this. Now we're gonna come over here, turn the coffee maker on, select your whatever size you're gonna brew. I'm gonna do a half a pot and hit the over ice button. That's when it starts brewing. Now the over ice feature, it does pause. So it's gonna brew for a little bit and pause. Brew for a little bit and then pause. That's normal. And one other thing, the stay warm light did not come on. It doesn't turn the warming plate on. Now that doesn't mean you won't see this come on. I have seen, cause sometimes the hot water coming out of there is, is so hot, it will turn that light on for a second or two. Um, that's okay because there's just a temp sensor in there that when the plate gets hot, it turns that little light on, but the coffee maker is not turning the warming plate on. So it's not gonna melt the ice by having the warming plate on. That's a very nice feature of this coffee maker. Okay, so it brewed for about 15 seconds and now it's stopped. The coffee maker gets really quiet. Now the coffee coming out of here is still 200 degrees. So it's gonna melt that ice really quick. Okay, so it paused for about eight to 10 seconds. And now it starts back up again. About 180, but it's gonna ramp up to 200 really quick. I had 200 here earlier. All right, let's check the final temperature. One ninety six, one ninety seven. That's very hot coming out of the bottom of there. Now this coffee maker does beep at you when it's done brewing. It just waits a little bit, so coffee will stop coming out, and it takes about thirty seconds, and then the coffee maker finally beeps at you. It's like three or four short little beeps. Okay, so it's done. It's still dripping a little bit. It hasn't beeped at me yet, but it's obviously done. And it's brewed, a, so you end up with a half a pot of iced coffee. Yeah, but it's melted quite a bit of that ice. So there's the beeps. And it says the word end. So you're still going to want to hit the drip stop because there still may be a few more drips. There's your iced coffee. So let's pour a little bit into a cup and see how cold it is. So that iced coffee is... I wish it was a little colder. That's still 50 degrees. I, a good iced coffee should be around f under 40. So what I do is grab you. Now you can grab you a glass or a, or a tumbler. Put some ice in it. You don't need as much ice as you would earlier. But now let's pour it in. 
Now this extra ice is really going to cool it down. You can see this makes just enough for about two people, maybe three. So now after adding that ice, you end up under 40, which is really good. I, I like to add a little milk to my um, iced coffees. And then I like the French vanilla syrup. This is a really good tasting drink. I call it two tablespoons or two dashes. One, two. So if we mix that up, that's a very, let's, let's, let's mix it up and taste it. Okay, so I mixed it up and tasted it. It tastes very good. Um, it's a tad weak um, for me because you have to add so much ice. It is just a little bit weak. I do like cold brew coffee for my iced coffee, but this machine does make a very good iced coffee. And just by adding that little bit of extra ice, now this is a very cold drink and it's not melting the ice anymore. But we can see this has just been sitting here for just a little bit and it's pretty well melted the ice. See how I did with the coffee grounds? Oh yeah. Nice. Thanks everybody for watching. Check out my other videos where I'm going to show you how to descale. I also have a detailed video that I show you how to make a specialty cappuccino and, la cappuccino and latte. Thanks everybody for watching.